the why why are Subarus different? Why why does the Subaru make this hard? Well, in, in part it's because it's a box range, but really it's because of where they put the thermostat. The thermostat is basically sitting right underneath the water pump. And this is the very bottom of the engine, and the timing belt rolls over this. And because the thermostat is at the bottom of the engine, that makes things a little bit different. A lot of engines, most commonly, they put the thermostat high up, you know, usually you know, somewhere right around the top radiator hose. And then you know, when you're fill, filling up the engine with coolant, the coolant can go down to the bottom, it can go to the radiator, the engine block just moves up. And then the thermostat is just kind of like right at the top, and then there's really no issue getting the coolant to fill up both, both uh, the radiator and the engine. But with the Subarus, because the thermostat is at the bottom, you know, as you're filling things up, yes, coolant is going to go into the radiator. You're obviously, you're going to fill it up with the noticeable funnel into the engine, too. But that, that barrier between the two pockets, that's what makes it a little bit more complicated. That's where it's, it's harder for all of the air to come out, plus the boxer engine kind of being, like, long and horizontal. You know, there, there's just obstacles to get all of the air out of the system easily. So that's where we use something like a noticeable funnel. So what this does is this allows us to, you know, basically fill the cooling system up, you know, know that we've got a little bit of extra there. And then when we start the engine, you're going to see air bubbles come out, you know, we'll squeeze the hoses, whatever, we'll, we'll get all of the air bubbles out. Um, and then we're just going to let the engine idle and come up to temperature, let the fans come on a couple times, because then we know that the thermostat has opened and coolant is moving back and forth between the radiator and the engine freely. Usually at that point, you'll see some more air bubbles come out. And we want to use the nose bubble funnel because we've got extra coolant here. So if an air bubble comes out, we get that void gets filled with coolant. So we're not going to, you know, not going to let more air back into the system or hold air into the system. So we want to have a little bit of extra coolant volume as we're as we're trying to prep the system.